Welcome to a new vlog. In this video I'm going to show you how to parfocal your trinocular microscope. And this means getting both the eyepieces and the camera port in focus at the same time and maintaining them in focus while adjusting through the entire range of the zoom adjustment. This is extremely useful if you are using the microscope for example by looking through the eyepieces soldering on some board and at the same time you're using the camera port for recording or live streaming. Once you do this procedure the eyepieces and the camera port will be synced in focus even as you adjust a different zoom level but with some limitations as I will show in a moment. These are usually the result of the camera port optics which limit the allowable uh, zoom range to which you can keep the camera port in focus. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB.com, a professional PCB supplier who can offer 24 hours turnaround time for prototype PCBs for just $2. You also have a selection of solder mask colors with no extra cost and affordable laser cut stencils, so it's definitely worth checking them out. Now if you are using a 0.5x Barlow lens like I do and like most people doing electronics will be using, you need to consider the fact that the working distance is about 16.5 centimeters between the Barlow lens and the work surface. So keep that in mind because the adjustment we will do later will be happening around that working distance. The first step is to set both eyepiece diopters to zero. On this particular model of microscope, that is marked with a silver ring. When the tube overlaps the silver ring, they are on zero. The second step is to adjust for the highest possible magnification or zoom level, in my case that is 4.5. Place an object for observation and adjust using the height adjustment until you get the image in focus on the eyepiece. This should be happening around 16 or 16.5 centimeters from the working surface if you are using the 0.5x Barlow. The third step is to adjust for the lowest magnification level, in my case that is 0.7. Next, focus each eyepiece using the diopter adjustment until the image is clear for each eye. Next, adjust the camera focus on the optical adapter you have between the camera and the microscope. In my case, I am using a 0.5x adapter. Now, both the eyepiece and the camera will remain in focus at this working distance, even if you change the zoom settings from min to max, but like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, there is a limitation introduced by the camera port optics. With the 0.5x adapter that I am using, the camera can only focus between 1.5 and 4.5 zoom level, so not all the way down to 0.7, but I still get the advantage of having both the eyepiece and the camera in focus while varying the zoom from 1.5 up to 4.5. And that's everything you need to know. With this simple method, you can configure your microscope to get the best out of it. And if you are interested in the items shown here, I will place links in the description below the video for all of these items. Also, you can click here to watch a detailed video about the camera I use on my microscope. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time with a new video.